mine out the window. Moonshine and Bud Light by the truckload. Take a lesson, yeah, we're preaching this hit life. Mickey Thompson drag on a turn. What is up, guys? Welcome back. Today we got a special episode on here. My boy Thomas has dropped off his Miata and said, do whatever you want to it. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna take the top off and we're gonna spray paint graffiti all over the top, wrap it down along sides, then we're gonna take it back to him. And he's gonna take it and get it wrapped in all snow white. It's gonna be sick when we get done with it. When you're watching this, you might be like, hey, that's not conventional, who would do that? I do that, that's what I do. It doesn't look the way he wants it sitting out there now. It would be a whole lot cooler for not much money. So we're gonna go to it, we're gonna put some artistic stuff on there, and we're gonna roll. For this job, I decided to go with the flame paint. It's a European base paint. Really good, a lot of the graffiti artists like to use that kind. It don't come with nozzles though, you have to get your own nozzles, the caps. Uh, I got a bunch of fat caps, fill caps, thin caps, all kinds of stuff. If you just leave it, it's gonna fade. It's not gonna last long. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with the clear coat and we're gonna hit it with an automotive clear coat. This one, I like it a lot. It's a two-part system. There's that, there's the hardener. You can get that from TCP Global. If you're painting anything, I use their stuff all the time. I love it, it's good stuff. Goes on really easy, dries super fast. This one is called the 2K Speed Urethane Clear. Part A, part B. Then we'll be applying that with this bad boy. I got with Thomas, I was like, what do you want on there? He thought about it for a while, and uh, he wanted Yada put on there. Like short from Yada. Uh, I thought about different styles to go with. I didn't want to get too technical or too crazy. I wanted to be something where somebody that didn't know anything about it could read it and they know what it was all about. And I came up with a game plan and sketched it. Came up with this guy right here. Let's get in there. Here is the car as I got it. Let's check it out here. Love that little detail. Pretty sweet. There, if you notice, obviously the top doesn't match the rest of the car. Go around here and get a back view. There she is. We're just gonna make her look a little bit cooler. Got the top off the car in the floor of my garage. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and sketch out something on here. This is. On somebody's car so I want to take the time to make sure I got a proper sketch not just freestyled on there real quick so here we go I got the basic drawing of what I want to go with right there it was a little tough to figure out the size because it started a little this way because the shading goes that way I think the idea is we're gonna make a sky up here with clouds that's gonna be nice and crisp up against the sky and then we're gonna come down to like an earthy, maybe like a heaven and hell. Now I'm gonna hit it with a wet 2000 and then clean it up with some denatured alcohol. Check it out, we got a little friend here. Bruh, it's time to paint. If you're not familiar with graffiti, it works with all different kinds of caps. I mean, you got like fat caps that shoot big old streams that you fill stuff in with. Caps that are more of a normal spray. And then you got thin caps or outline caps. One of the things I struggled with was this was so small and trying to fit all this detail. Even my little thin outline caps, they were just too big. So I kept having to go over stuff. Usually when you do a graffiti piece and you put like these big old letters in them and stuff and shading, you, you got a big old wall, a big cinder block wall or something or train or whatever you're working on. And when you're in a spot like this big, it gets kind of hard.
she is done and it turned out freaking awesome this is gonna break some necks on the road oh yeah got really good color, color contrast I was worried about the colors I picked but the key limes and the yellows and the, the peanut butters and the red and the black and, and the sky blue all going together together but it turned out sick look at the side view how it's gonna look on the car Oh man, turned out real good. Now we got one more step to make this thing legit. We gotta clear coat it with a UV clear coat. Make sure it doesn't ever fade, it's protected, and it's got a perfect quality automotive finish. Let's go do that next. Stir. All right, we're ready. This is my boy Thomas. He's about to see his top. Oh yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. That's all I got for today. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, or subscribe. If you did like the video, check out the other videos on my channel. All kinds of cool videos on there. Got more graffiti videos, got car videos, all kinds of stuff. Just check it out. Till next time, see you guys. Take care. Later. Peace. Backyard.